Hello everybody, my name is Dominic, and today you are going to be learning how to make this superhero-y, flaming, laser beam, awesome guy. And what you are going to need is a picture of your jumping guy, and a picture of a fireball. Now pull their fireball out, and then pull it on to your jumping guy. Now duplicate this background layer, and then delete the original. Now go into Image, Adjustments, and now you're going to want to go to Curves, and then pull down on this slider. Now go back to Image, Adjustments, brightness and contrast, pull down on your brightness, and up on the contrast. And this will deepen the shadows and just make it look more real. Now take your fire layer and position it right on his hand, like so. Now take your magic wand tool and select the black area. Go to Select, Modify, feather and feather it by about four pixels and now hit delete and then select deselect now you see we have this border and take a the eraser at about eh, 50 or so and just erase around this border until you get it looking how it should look And there we go. And now take it fuzzy, like about 60 or so, and just touch up the areas like that, and then touch up the bottom here so it doesn't look like it's just a flat black thing. So now we have the fire on his hand. Now to make it look realistic, take a new layer, take your dodge tool, and just dodge up. Your, make sure you're on the background layer and just dodge up his arm and what the dodge tool does is it just lightens up the area see so it lightened up the area and that already looks pretty good but on your new layer take the paintbrush and take an orangey color like a nice bright orange with a fuzzy brush about 40 and go along, eh, more orange. There we go. And then just go over that area that you dodged up. And then put the blending mode to overlay. And just paint around till you like how it looks. And maybe lower the opacity a little. So you get a nice glowy feeling. And so, now the fire looks pretty real, and you might want to just touch up some of the other shadows with the same method. Now, to create the little laser blast that you saw. So, create a new layer, and with your elliptical selection tool, select an ellipse, like so. Now, take mm, nice icy almost white blue so a really light blue and then fill that in with the paintbrush tool and then fill the same selection in on a new layer make sure you make a new layer and fill it in with white now hit select modify contract contract it by two pixels hit ok and then hit the delete key on your keyboard select deselect and so you have this doesn't look like much but it will so take the white border layer and then right click duplicate layer and now take that duplicated layer and go to filter blur gaussian gaussian whatever blur and blur it by about five then duplicate that layer and then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur that by about 10 or so. 
okay and then duplicate that layer and then blur that by about 15 alright and then just duplicate that again so it hardens it up a little and then just hit right click merge down 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 whoops there accidentally merged that onto that now you want to take this move it to right about there hit control T on the keyboard and wait for this arrow to get curvy and then rotate it around and then hit enter now put the opacity on that down to about 50 and now take your paths tool or I believe it's the pen in Photoshop and make sure you have this in the right place how you want it because you're not going to be able to change where it is after this oh, that's fine and now take the paths pen tool and cut around his fingers so that he what we're doing is cutting these fingers out from the actual um, orb sphere thing you don't have to do an overall job, a really wonderful job, and you'll see why in a second. So you have your path, and you can go a little bit onto the finger, it just adds to the effect. And then hit this little cir dotted circle right here, hit that button. And it, what it does is make a selection of the path. Now go to select, modify, feather, and again feather by about four. And now hit select, inverse delete select deselect and now move the opacity all the way back up so you get this nice glowing beam thing now take your smudge tool and go back to the really back of it right here and just smudge down and this is a pretty handy tool because it just lets you like it's like motion blur except you can do it with the mouse so it's easy to steer and then just start to smudge the edges of the sphere here just to give it a little bit more of a wild look so it doesn't look so su like such a perfect circle and just like that you have a superhero jumping Iron Man, fi hand on fire guy to do what you want with. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.